the, the waste products of the small intestine goes to the large intestine. I, I am going to talk about the uh, appendix that is in the, in the beginning of the large intestine. The appendix, uh, 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 the scientific things think that, that its function is to, to if the intestine uh, lo loses its function, the appendix uh, sends vitamins and other things to help the intestine to, to move over time. And, but the appendix, appendix ha, has got an inflammation that it, uh, that it hurts a lot and it, the only therapy is to is a surgery. And you can live in, without an appendix. And the large intestine is the last part of the digestive system. Its function is to absorb uh, water from the remaining food matter. Then it's passed to the to the rectum. The rectum and the anus uh, are the last part of the uh, of the large intestine and the digestion process. Uh, after the other process, uh, the, the waste products uh, go out by by the anus. Now I'm going to talk about some digestive diseases. Uh, constipation symptoms are excessive hardening of the feces and hemorrhoids. It's due to uh, bad alimentation and stress. Uh, to cure constipation, you must do exercise and eat food. Uh, diarrhea symptom is that you spend too many liquid feces. Uh, it's due to toxic food or allergy. Uh, to cure diarrhea, uh, you must drink a lot of water. Um, uh, the colon uh, is behind uh, the last thing that he says. <coughs> produce symbiotic um, uh, bacteria that produces vitamins like vitamin B12 and vitamin K, K, K sorry. Um, <coughs> uh, it's divided in three parts. First is ascending column, the second is the ascending column, and the last is descending column.